Hallelujah. It was our weaknesses he carried. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from God, a punishment for his own sins. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. Yeah, we don't see sin as a price he paid. We see it as something that feels good, something that meets our temporary satisfactions, even if it is cruel. So what? Jesus paid for it. Doesn't that make us excused? Can't we go on sinning since he paid our dues? What a lack of reverence you have for the one who shed his blood for you you have to understand what happened on the cross he took the place that should have been ours with our wicked hearts we never gave him a reason to take our scars yet he took it upon himself to heal our hearts he took every whip and lash that tore his skin apart he took every whip and lash that tore his skin apart we put him on the cross the death penalty should have been ours greed lust malice adultery hatred and slander and the list goes on and on he was the atonement for our sins he was the perfect lamb sacrifice no blemish no record, yet penalized for every crime. With our tears, we cried Hosanna, but with our actions, we are crucified. What testimony is your life giving? The disciples walked with Jesus and still couldn't make up their minds. A double-minded man is unstable in all they do. Jesus had one goal to fulfill the Father's will and die for you. He canceled the death and tore the veil. There's no longer a process to the presence. Now we have 24-7 access. Yet some of us don't make time because of our busyness. See, all of that is just an excuse. Jesus had all the reasons to not get on the cross, but he thought about you. He saw his sons and he saw his sons and daughters and the generations coming after you. The nails didn't keep him on the cross. It was his love for you. He cried, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me so we wouldn't have to? If it wasn't for his blood, we would not be here. And if it wasn't for his love, we would not be healed. It was the blood of Jesus that sealed the deal. We're justified and declared righteous, not by our works but what Jesus did. Yeah.